Dr. Pierre Masson was best known for his pioneering work involving brain tumors, the nervous system, and histological techniques, which became the standard in pathology. He had three periods in his life that we could describe. The Parisian period that went from 1909 to 1914, the beginning of the war, and then from 1919 to 1927, he was in Strasbourg. And then from 27 to his death in 59, he was in Montreal. In 1923, his concept of neurocrine secretion led to modern neuroendocrinology. And the field of neuroendocrinology, uh, which is now exploding, and it's, the, it's an area of research that for the future that is now in full bloom. But he was, in a way, our father. This, together with a major textbook on human tumors, established Dr. Masson's reputation. It's really his master work. There's two editions. The first one was in 1923, the second one in 1956. It's beautifully written, beautifully illustrated. There are at least 1,200 page book, at least 200 pages are strictly on histological techniques. By 1927, he had joined the Université de Montréal to be chair of the Department of Pathology until his retirement in 1954. He insisted that we must look at slides. People have a tendency to always go to textbook. If you had a research project, the first thing that people do is go to a textbook to see what is already done by other people. He will say, that's all right, but do your own observation. Perhaps you will see something different than the, others, the other people, or you will see it in a different way. Pierre Masson devoted his life to histological research. He knew the work of other researchers in his field backwards. Uh, he was um, innovative, not just in his idea, but also technically. And he was a meticulous and patient technician. It's rare that in a textbook that papers, let's say, below 60 or 50, and mentioned. Usually it's in the historical section. But these papers are mentioned as reference for the subject now, uh, 50 years or uh, after they were written, because they are still considered uh, actual. Masson's stain was known to two generations of doctors in their pathology studies. Not only did they create the pathology department at University of Montreal, but he made it world famous. And also he trained all of the pathologists that were my teachers uh, after he, he, uh, he retired. Uh, and there's a school that we call the School of Masson of Pathology. Pierre Masson died in 1959. He was brilliant. He had insight into processes that only his, his brilliance and his enormous background could make possible. Students and his colleagues uh, were looking at him as the master, as the, uh, the genius in the field. He really treated us a bit like a grandfather towards his children at that time. He was a very nice man to work with and a very great man. It was a pleasure to work with him, an honor also.